Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to build a very simple app with Streamlit. So we're trying to see how to embed a QR code format right generator within your Streamlit app, right? So this is something very simple. So if I come back to this particular part of the app, I hope you can hear me now. And I press and like to say hello world. Streamlit is cool, right? Streamlit is cool, right? Something like this. And I click on generate, it's going to generate a very simple QR code for me, right? Very simple. There's it. So I can actually use my phone. So I have my phone here and I can use the QR scanner, the which is here. I don't know if they can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Then I can actually scan it. So if I scan it here, so that's a scan, as you can see, right? That scan it for us. Very simple. So and then if I click on it, you can see the word the way that was typed there. Hello world. Hello world. I hope I don't know where you can see it. Hello world, streamlet is cool, right? Very simple. So we're trying to see how to build this wonderful app. So the test that we put here is going to be generated here. And I can actually save this one. So let's save this image. So save image. That is the advantage of using streamlet. Then I can save this particular image and then use it for something. So let's put a sample one, right? Perfect. Now let's go back again. This is one part of the app. So this part is for generating Keral codes, right? Now, in case I have an image or a Keral code, I can go back to the decode Keral. Then I upload a particular image. So let's upload an image there. So I'll just go back again and upload the one that we created recently. So I'll upload it here, right? I'm uploading it here. It's a sample one. Then it's going to be uploaded to the app. Then you see that it has actually decoded the test there, right? So this is the image and this is the decoded. So it's, it's a very simple app if you're trying to build from scratch using Streamlit, right? So let's see how to build this wonderful app from scratch. So one more simple shout out. So I have some courses on Udemy. So in case you are interested, you can check out all of these courses. They are not a lot. You have one for Streamlit. In case you want to learn more about Streamlit, you have for bioinformatics. In case they are very exciting courses, in case you want to learn data science, machine learning, go you can get all of these courses right in case you want to build cli tools in case you want to master machine uh, natural language processing and then some more right so this is the newest one you can also check it out okay so this is just by the way so that at least you know some of the contents you have and see how you can support the channel with this right okay so now let's go back and see how to build this particular app from scratch so away with the talking of or the promotion okay i'll just go back again so we're trying to build this wonderful app from scratch. Very simple. So let's set up our place. I'll come back again to my workspace. Yeah, I'm going to get out of this place. I hope the audio is okay now. The other time the audio was very low because I think I did not know how to set up. Well, so let me make sure that the setup is okay now. So I'm going to create another folder called QR code, right? App, something like that. Then I'm moving to my QR code app. There is nothing here. So I'm going to create my file called app.py, right? Perfect. There's nothing inside here. So let's open it with Sublime and we start writing some code. So I'll position this one. So I'll position this beside it. So I may take off the audio. I may take off the audio. I may take off the video, right? So that at least we'll be able to see it well. Yeah. So we'll come back. So let's build our app from scratch. So I'm just going to go back to the app.py file. And then we start writing them. We're going to input our core packages, right? So let me take off the audio video. So this is me. <laughs> okay, so let's start. So I'm going to import. This is going to be our core packages. So I'm going to import Streamlit as ST. That's the main package we're using, right? And the other package that we're using is that we need a QR code app or QR code package from Python. So it's going to be in case you don't have, you can install it on the system with this option. So pip install. QR, QR code, right? So that is the package that we'll be using to help us decode and then generate QR codes, images. So I'll come back again and then let's work on it. So that's going to be the first one. So we also need to import NumPy. We import NumPy as MP to help us with the image manipulation. So let's also add it to so QR code, NumPy, in case you don't have it, Streamlit, in case you don't have it, and then open CV. So Python open cv right so these are the main packages that you need to help you run and work with the app very simple right so input that and now let's move on and build a simple app this will be the main app our application it's going to be as we always do create a simple 
main option to make our app look nice and well clean i'm going to create my if main right perfect so let's create our menu as we always do so the menu is going to consist of the home whereby we generate and then we're going to have the decode right decode care whereby we decode a care image that you upload then our about about what the app does so in case you have any question or contribution you can let us know and let me know about the audio whether it's okay now right so let's select our choices which is going to be st dot sidebar let's select can spell select box menu and then menu right then say if the choice is go to home as we always do i think i need a way of making this one simple for everybody so that we don't keep on repeating it over and over again like it looks like almost every code we do the same thing but this is one of the ways and i like this one because it makes it simple so you know what to do. you can create multiple pages right and then with the stream session state you can do some cool stuff which we'll be trying to talk about later on in the future the other audio was video was very low my apologies the code okay right and now the last one else st dot sapeda this what about about the app right okay so let's run the app and see whether it's working hopefully everything is working as expected i'll go back to my space this was where it was so these are the packages that we need to run the app and i'll move from here to so streamlit run app dot pi i have to make sure that the old app which was this one is no more working so i'll close this one off and then get out of this right so i'm stopping the old one so let's run the app and whilst it's opening we will just go back again and write some code so we need to create a place in which we can actually do all of these things right so the first place is a place to put our test right so this is going to be our test area so let's call it out this so let's use the form this is going to be our test input our test input and then from here is going to be this option so let's use a form with st.form it's going to be my key and i'll specify that this is going to be my my kl form right something like that right then raw test that the person is going to supply which is going to be a state of test area so test so apologies for the noise maybe here behind right so this test here right and then that is it. so we need to create a submit button so submit button then this is going to be very simple so st.form submit button and i'm going to call that so let's call it as the generate right that is all. so this is going to be a place in which we can type in our test right so our app is already opening so i can just copy this one it's going to use your default browser to open but i prefer to use chrome right, because it's cool now paste it here let's close the old one the app is working as expected hopefully there's no mistakes there what right, perfect everything is working as expected right so we have the home page and then let's make sure that everything is as expected yeah since we have the home we have the decode and then we have the about page right so every part of the app is working as expected so let me save this so we see that it's working so i'll save this one always rerun the app and what else is going to see that we have our page here right so we can actually type in our test here then we also need to make sure that we have a place in which whatever the person type is going to be generated so i'm just going to go back here and create a simple layout it's going to be my layout so let's call it as this option so if submit button right if you click on the submit button if the person click on this generate button i want you to generate the code for us right so there's a simple way of doing that so but before we generate the code let's create our column one and column two and then return the result for the person to see columns let's go with two right so with column one there's going to be the image right so let's call it pass and then with column two this is going to be the original stuff so this was st.info it's going to be the original test the person supply so original see what i did 
original i don't know whether i can hear some noise behind i've opened the window because of the summer because it's, it's hot right there original test raw test so let's check it and see so save it open it up let's type in some stuff here to so testing okay well cool yeah i spelled it wrong my bad click on generate then let's see whether it's going to work perfect so everything is working as expected the next option is to work with the QR code generation so i'll go back again and then we we'll start with that one alone now to work with the QR code you have to first of all import it from our top so i'm going to be come back to the top of the app it's going to be for QR QR code right, you're going to import it so it's going to be import QR code right QR code I need to create a class of it right so it's going to be a class or an instance of it so it would be my kr then see what i spelled kr then kr code dot kr code then this is going to take some information you can just leave it by default but let's pass in the default value so say version one and then let's specify an error correction correction rather because sometimes you need to make make some corrections for it okay I'll, maybe another time we do a complete video on working with this particular package on it on constant dot error correct right we are trying to correct all the errors l1 so i've changed the mic so it's i hope you may be hearing me now at first i was using the blue yeti now i'm using the root so let's see so border is going to be 40 so this is the border i'm going to specify so this is the both size the boss of the size of how of the qr code how much you want to generate and then this is going to be the border right very simple so let's make it better so this option is okay so let's do it like this so i can see everything wrong right perfect so we are just creating this is the most important thing so we are creating your important qr code you're creating a class for it so this is a class you're going to do whatever activity you want to do so i come back again to the app and then inside my location here under this place i'm going to first of all create it right i'm going to create add that particular data so that is the first step first step is add data right then next one is generate so we want to add the data it's going to be my kr dot add data i'm passing my raw test right that is all right that is the first thing then we need to be able to generate so to be able to generate it you just come back again and create that image right because the qr code is actually an image so it's going to be my kr dot i don't know why i'm calling that j kr dot make then i'll fit it so fit is equal to true perfect then let's create an image it's going to be my kr dot make image because it's a qr code is actually an image so the qr code is actually an image right so i'm just going to go with kr dot make image now passing fill color so this is the color you want to give so you can give it color, maybe red or white but most of the time we prefer a uh, black and white so the full color right is going to be black and then the background color is going to be white right you can change the color as you wish right but this is the standard that is the first thing now we are done with it now we have to after this is going to create the image so we have to save this particular image somewhere so i'm going to make it simple for us to save so this is where we try and see how to embed it inside streamlit right so creating a file name so i'll call this an image file name then i'm going to call this let's say generated image right and i'm give it something like this so this is going to help us in a uh, how do you call it PNG, in, in trying to embed it inside streamlit right so by default if i do this it's going to actually save the image so let's check it out i'll go back again to the app right let's click on generate it's going to generate the image right so if i go back and i check it here let's check it from here right it's supposed to save it right so in order for us to get the image you have to actually save it so that's why i'm creating this file name to save it as that particular image so let's give it a path to so path for image i'm going to be using os.path we have to import os on top then i'm going to pass in the image folder we're going to create a folder for image folder where we put in all the images there right Perfect. then i'll specify the file name image file name. 
so let's import OS and let's create a folder called so I'll come back again import OS then let's create a folder Right, so I'm going to call that image folder. Let's create this particular image folder. So it's not there, but we can create one. So let's create one. So I'll, I'll create it here. Yeah, there's a, several ways you can create an image folder. So let's do it here. So I'll come back here. Right, so we have we are important ways to help us with our image and then we can also even add timestamp to it. Right, you can actually add timestamp to make it easy for us to keep on. So let's add timestamp to it. So I'll import time also. So import time. And we're going to be creating a timestamp string. So I'll just copy and paste the code there to save us time. so now we have to save that particular image so save it just go with mg.save so this mg is coming from the one we, we use qr code to create then i just go back to the part for images right so this is going to save it so let's save it come back again to the app and click on generate hopefully everything is working as expected perfect let's check the image and see so it's there and then see that image has been generated right so that means that the app is working now the next option is to try and bring this particular one into our streamlet so we can just use streamlet image to actually so show So we'll be using uh, what do you call it this particular fu function here to help us load our image in streamlet right so i'll come back again and then i'll just come back and then load it right so it's very simple so let's call it as my image that i want to load so it's going to be my final image it's going to be load image now move into that particular part that we saved the file path for images right then now st.image now passing my final image that's how to work with it right so the code the simple option is that this is going to add the data to it this is going to generate the qr code image and this is going to save it into this particular part then in case i want to show it inside streamlet i'll use my function which i've created to load it back into streamlet so let's go back again and check it out generate perfect so that is it right so it, that is so i can expect it and i can click on it to save the particular image perfect right so that is the first part of the app but because of the noise i'll rush through and then in the next session we try and build the second aspect of the app so the basic idea behind what we have done is that we are just using curl code to build this app right so we are just importing streamlit and numpy which we'll be using later in the next session the most important thing we need is this particular code here and then the image to display it on streamlit then whatever the test the person supplies here right will be added to our curl code generated to an image and then we can display it on streamlet right that's the basic understanding behind it so next session we're trying to see how to work on the decode the, the app part right so see you in the next session stay blessed and apologies for the noise you're hearing behind my bad all right so welcome back so in this particular session we're trying to build the decode the, the app part of the app so it's going to be very simple we have a place in which we upload the image so image file that we want to upload using st dot file uploader which coming from streamlet then i'm going to tell the person that okay upload image right then you need to specify the type of image that we want to get we only want our specific type which is going to be my jpeg right jpg and then png and then jpeg right very simple that is all so that is all then i'm going to say if the image file is not none it's not none then we can now work on so this is the part in which we'll be trying to work on displaying image so there are several methods we can use the image that we created the function we created to load image now pass in the image file then i can just use st dot image to display this is the first method right so let's save it and see i'll come back again 
to the app go back to the sidebar of the app we are moving to the decode the care code i hope everybody can hear me well yeah so let's upload a, an image there so we are going to upload in this particular generated image here upload it here and then the image has come right perfect now we want to be able to decode it so let's see how to work on a decode, decoding aspect so this is one of the methods of loading it. so this is going to be method one for displaying of the image right display image now let's work on the other option which we can also use opencv to help us do the same thing so this is going to be method two so method two using opencv so let's create it's going to be let's call that file file byte because opencv in order for us to work with it you have to convert to numpy array and all of these things right so file byte which was numpy dot array dot as array this is useful then i'm going to specify that okay use byte array which is part of standard python i'm going to pass in my image file dot read this is another way of reading it right so numpy array byte array then the image file as array then i want to specify the particular type of decoding right so d type data type will be numpy dot u int 8 right perfect that is all so this is another way of getting the entire stuff as byte then i can use open cv to open it so open cv image then i'm going to cv2 dot image decode so this is another way of displaying your image there. so file bytes then one right perfect so there's another way so to to show this particular image i can just go with st dot image i'm passing my open cv so you can use this function that we created using pillow which was this one here or you can also use the open cv that you have done so let's import open cv too so it's going to be import cv2 right okay so let's check and see whether it's working so i'll come back again to the app and then you can see that now it's giving us an error so cannot identify image blah 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 but you will face it don't worry right so i'll come back again and let's face it out so in case you have any question or contribution can let us know inside the comment section below Right, and it's working right so it's still working the reason just giving us the error was because we are not uploading an image and it's working perfectly right so that is another way so this is method two now let's make it in the format of a column so i'm going to create another column so let's call this one as let's say c1 for column one c2 for column two then i'm going to start st dot beta columns passing two columns and then i'll position it well right so this is going to be the first one so with c1 i want to to show the image that we have opened right that's the first one then with c2 this is going to be the decoding so st.info so it is going to be decoded care right code something like that then how do we work on it so i'm just going to create my determinant join my cv2 dot care code care code this is coming from opcv detector right we are creating a, a variable which will be using to detect care code inside an image I would specify the parameters, red vowel, the point, the straight, well, straight, you can give it any name, QR code, right? So this, these three parameters, right? Or these three variables, we are going to be unpacking it. So the def, detector, right? Then detector, detect and decode. This is a function coming from OpenCV, the class you have created now passing my image there. Then to get everything out i can just go back so the for all of them to the red vowel is for the test right so to show the test i just go to st dot right right vowel right so that is all right so let's make sure that our app is working before so it's giving us an error here let's fix it yeah yeah we made a mistake here so let's take it off let's go back into, again to the app perfect let's upload an image so i'll upload this particular image into the app perfect so that the image has come in a the test there, right so that is how to work on the decoding aspect very very simple right so the basic idea is that we just you can use this option to display the image or can also use opencv right to display the image in here i want to do but in case you want to be able to decode it the best option is to use the opencv right this one helps in decoding right 
because we are using OpenCV to open the file, we can also use the same option to be able to help decode it, right? Perfect. Then this place is going to show the image and this is what is going to be used to decode it, right? So first of all, we're going to create from OpenCV, I want you to detect any QR code inside the image, then detect and then decode it, right? Using this particular detector and passing our NumPy RACSV CV image, right? Then to get the result, just go with this. In case I want to get a point, I can also go with this, right? The point, right? But that's going to be totally different. But the test itself is going to be so the points are the dimensions as you can see from here, the dimensions of the image, and then the street. So st dot right street QR code is also going to be totally different, right? You can see from here, right? So these are all of the parameters, right? The different colors and all of these things. So that is how. But what we need is the test. That is the rest of all. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can put inside the comment section below and check the link below. We also have a Patreon channel, a Patreon page in which in case you want to support, you can support us. It is on patreon.com slash jcaristic. And you can also check the description below for more materials. So thank you for watching. See you in the next session and apologies for the noise. Stay blessed.